Hey, what's going on guys? You boys, probably 2 k 7 and we are back for a brand new Grand Auto 5 Firefighter Mod video. And today is actually a very special day because we're taking a look at fire callouts for LSPDFR by Panos1221. So first off, I want to say a huge thank you to Panos for creating new fire calls for us to respond to. There really wasn't much uh, for us to do in single player as far as firefighter mods and it's nice to see something new that we can do So I'm excited to check this out and I'm excited to see this thing grow now uh, first thing um, You can use something like callouts manager to um, Pick the calls that you want so here you can see fire callouts you click on that and you can see all of the different calls that it comes with So you have six calls you have aircraft brush fires uh, Structure fires vehicle fires car crash and also a second motor vehicle accident requiring an extrication and speaking of extrication We also have this uh, cool chainsaw that we could pull out to like cut people out of cars, which is pretty cool So we're gonna try to show off all of that in today's episode Just sit back relax if you guys do enjoy this one make sure you guys smash that like button leave some comments down below subscribe if you are new and let's go ahead and get this started all units we have a structure on fire in uh mirror park all right guys we're getting our first call looks like it's gonna be a structure fire in mirror park we're gonna be responding to that now this call out does not come with a way to have your own firefighters follow you so i just use menu for that and i just spawn some firefighters they're gonna follow us but they're not gonna actually like help us at all but they'll just stand around and look cool what we can do though is once we get on scene we'll just use ultimate backup to call for another fire truck and they will help us put out the fire so we have one mile to go Try to get there as fast, but as safely as possible. Now, one thing I like about this callout pack so far, the calls are spread out really nicely. So, like with the older two firefighter mods, you really only respond to fires like in a two or three block radius. This thing sends you to fires all over the place, which is pretty cool. So we're able to respond to fires out of all of the fire stations as well as from the county areas, the city. Really? Okay, at least he's moving. Thank you. Now I am very excited to play this new callout pack. If you guys do enjoy again, let me know. Also, uh, let me know in the comment section, would you guys like to see me do this again with a ladder truck or maybe a rescue truck for tomorrow's episode? Let me know which one you guys would like me to use. Oh, that was close. Alright, I'm thinking the fire is going to be up here at this gas station. Conduct the primary search, people may still be inside. Oh, we got fire. Fire is showing us. People could possibly trap inside. We have explosions. Whoa. Let's get another fire truck here. Fire truck. You know what? Let's get an ambulance here as well. Might as well have them responding. And let's get our gear on and let's head into the fire. Other fire truck is here. Let me get my turnout on. All right, so let's get to work. Pull out our extinguisher. They did say people may be inside, so we're gonna try to make our way in. As you can see with the ultimate backup, the other firefighters are here helping us out. We're gonna try to make a push on the interior and see if anybody's in there. All right, we're working, we're working, we're working. I like how the fire goes all the way up to the ceiling. That's pretty cool. Because with some of the other firefighter mods, it kind of just spread across the floor only. That's kind of cool to see. 
see it go up like that. Alright, so that's out. Let's conduct our primary searches. Anybody's in here? Let's search, let's search, let's search. Alright, looks like we're clear. Primary searches are complete and negative. Actually, let me confirm that by checking behind the counter. This is where somebody would possibly be at, like the worker. So far, everybody's doing a great job. Thank God, another success! Nice, nice, nice. Good job. All right. We've got a little bit of more fire burning on the outside. So primary searches are complete and negative. Uh, secondary searches are also going to be complete and negative. We can confirm that nobody's in this structure. Let's head outside and just make sure we have no fire on the roof or the ceilings or any extensions. I didn't really get to do a complete size up here. But it looks like we have no extension issues, and the fire is out. Those guys are going to head out, and the fire is under control. All right, so we did good, guys. That was our first call-out here with fire call-out. That was the structure fire uh, option. So let's go ahead and put our stuff away. We'll pack up our holes, get off our turnout, and head back to the firehouse. Alright, so after you finish your call, you always gotta make sure you just press N. That will just make sure that you are available for calls. And ready to go. So let's see what we get next, guys. Oh, it looks like a car exploded over there, too. Well, let's, uh, let's call for a tow truck for it. I know normally police would do that, but obviously, police is not gonna come. So we'll just do it ourselves. Flatbed, assistance needed, and mirror park. Alright, let's get out of here. All units, we've got a vehicle on fire in West Vinewood. Alright, that looks like it's right around the corner from us, guys. We have a port of a car fire. Just gotta respond to that. Looks like it's going to be that yellow bus there. You know what? I'm going to actually try to get uphill of this thing just in case it starts rolling. I saw a video where that thing rolled into the fire truck, so I'm going to park up here to prevent that. Let's get a... Oh, don't really need another unit here, but I guess we'll just handle this one ourselves. Oh my god, that bus needs on the cold. No, the bus is on fire. The other bus is on fire too. Oh no. There's police here too. This is about to get really bad. You know what, dispatch? Go ahead and send me that second do engine. This car fire is about to get much worse. Awful different workers on fire. You know what? I should have stopped traffic first. That would have been the better thing to do here. Oh lord, this is getting really bad. Oh man. Oh no, we got people possibly dying. Dispatch, roll us EMS as well. Damn, we got a lot of people down here. All from that one yellow bus. Got a whole second bus on fire now. Multiple. Oh, I thought he was missing half of his body. Oh man, we got a lot of people down here right now. Okay, we got more firefighters here. Let's stop traffic. Before I forget again. So that was our main mistake, not stopping traffic in time. Alright, let's get a ambulance here as well. Okay, so we have multiple fire units all working, ambulance is working. <laughs> the ram ambulance is just ramming them out the way. Alright, 
right, so we're gonna wait for these guys to uh, see how everything goes. I guess I could, um, we could get some people up ourselves, by the way, too. We can use uh, Stop the Pet for that. So Senator let's perform CPR. In the meantime, guys, take a look at this amazing SCBA tank that we are wearing. I forgot to mention, but this was actually a paid mod. It is by um, Trump, and you can find it on his Discord. I'll link it down below in the video description in case you are interested in purchasing it. He also has some other cool mods, such as fire helmets. Not this one. He has a. This is not his, but there's another one. And he also has like plate carriers and stuff for law enforcement and a bunch of other cool mods. So definitely check out his Discord. <laughs> it said CPR worked and now saying it failed. That makes no sense. Oh my god, they parked on top of this guy here. Come on, let's go. They're gone. Alright, I don't know why it keeps oh, saying CPR hell, failed, but he's up. So instead, I like to use agency callouts, um, EMS or uh, CPR, so let's use that. So for this one, I'm just going to hold you for that. <laughs> now it says CPR is successful. I don't know what's going on. Unless it's telling me for everybody else, maybe that's what it's doing. Like, it's giving me an update on everybody else. I think that's what it is. Alright, so let's say we get this guy up. I love how they transport people. <laughs> that is so funny. It looks like one of those mechanic lifts. <laughs> Alright, so they're gonna transport him. I'll have to call another ambulance for this guy. You okay, man? Ha, ah, look, they're trans- Oh, whoa, whoa! Somebody put that out! Don't walk past me, they're gonna make me catch on fire! Oh, no, 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 God, no, God, no, God, no, God, no, God, no, God, no. Oh, goodness, I do not want to die, because then I'll have to start over with everything. Wow. Dude, we thought this was going to be a simple car fire. Boy, was I wrong. Let's see if we get her up. I could take off all this extra stuff too. Though. So right, let's see if we could uh, get this officer up here. Hopefully they got everybody else up so we can try to get this scene cleared up because this is crazy. Oh shoot. Struck by explosion, burn from fire. Alright, so it looks like that other person did not make it. Oh, there we go. A lot more reports. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there's more than two people. Oh, watch out. <laughs> he just ran over the person again. Alright, let's get corner out here. So we're going to wait for corner, and we're going to get the heck out of here, because <laughs> this scene is just crazy right now. We have multiple cars that need to be towed, bus that needs to be towed, people all over the place. Oh man, that was crazy. All units, we have a structure on fire in the Spooshy Canal. Alright, we got another one. This one's going to be in Vespucci. C c guys, who, who locked me out of the truck? Guys, we got a fire. We got to go. Let me in. You guys, play around too much, man. All right.
Oh, shoot. We got fire throughout on this one, guys. Whoa, this is a big one. All right, let's get to work. Same thing, I'm gonna call for additional ambulance, I mean, uh, fire truck to help us out here. We well, can also use our ladder truck here too, for this one. All right, you know what, this is spreading a lot. I'm gonna start hitting this with the deck gun a little bit. Second dude engine is gonna just block me. <laughs> Alright. That should help out a little bit. Let's go with our hand lines now. We're gonna have to figure out how to get to the roof too. I love how positive these guys are. We should be on live rescue, man. Oh, almost ran through that. Oh, there's fire inside, too. Hold it. Okay, guys, we already have an interior team. So using ultimate backup in this case just to have other firefighters help us out is definitely God, useful because... If we try to do this by ourselves, it definitely take us a, m a much uh, longer amount of time, plus it'll be more thing. dangerous, obviously. Alright, we can let command know primary search is going to be complete and negative. And probably go with the probably will hold as well. As we do have most of the fire already out. Great job, guys! You did me proud! Thank God! Another success! This fire may... We may not be able to hit. It's like... Stuck behind these boxes. Oh, there we go. Just had to get up in there. Alright, let's make our way to the roof. Well Let's have guys. fire up there. Alright, so let's figure out a way to get up to the roof. If I don't find a natural way to get up there, I'll just try to get a ladder truck over here. So yeah, we have no rear access, no side-by-side -side access, so yeah, we're going to have to request a ladder truck. Alright, ladder truck is on scene. Let's get that ladder up. There's actually two different roofs on fire, I didn't notice that at first, so we'll start here with this jean store and then we'll make our way up to, uh, on top of the liquor store. Could bring some of these guys up here. I don't know if they're gonna fight the fire. All right, we'll knock out the rest by ourselves.
You know what? Oh, I got a crazy idea. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you guys. I can't tell you guys yet, but I just thought of a crazy idea. I'm probably not gonna be able to do it till like maybe next week or something, but I got something crazy coming, guys. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for this one. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Uh oh, can't get back on the ladder. Also, leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. And let me know, what did you guys think of this call out pack so far? I'm really excited for it, like I said. And I see a lot of potential for this thing. A couple uh, things I would like if there was a way that we could have like backup, that would be nice. I know obviously we could um, call for other units with ultimate backup, but it would be nice if like you could go to the firehouse and you could, um, I don't know, like on the map they have all the firehouses or most of the firehouses, um, including Sandy Shores. But when you go there, there's nothing actually there. So it would be cool if like if you go there, there was like a circle on the ground that you could kind of like. I don't know, like maybe get your fire extinguisher, get your flashlight, get your hatchet, maybe get other firefighters to follow you. That would be cool. But um, like I said, this is definitely a much needed feature. I'm like so excited to have more Grand F or more firefighter calls here in Grand Photo 5. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We will be doing some more episodes, checking out the other calls as well. So we do have aircraft crash, we have brush fire. Uh, we have the MVA we got to check out, the car crash we got to check out, and we did structure, we did vehicle fire today. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one guys. Again, every mod that I use is linked down below in the video description. Also check out my website, acepilot2k7.com slash tutorials if you guys would like to see how I did some of the cool behind the scenes features of this episode. And also, if you guys would like to check out some of my tutorials to learn how to install this stuff. Again, link down below in the video description. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.